Hello, welcome back to Calendra's Legacy. Um, so, there is a bug that the objective to deliver the Silex doesn't tick off. Apparently, uh, that is... Well, people are reporting that as a known bug in the original release of Thief 2 and patched in the update. Uh, I could think he's blind. But, that's the original Thief 2 1.18 patch, which is long before New Dark. And apparently, it's not working properly in New Dark, or at least this particular version of New Dark I've got. I guess I'm just going to have to put up with it and use the hotkey to force the mission to end. Hello, sleepy man with lots of fish. Do you have any loot? <coughs> taffer. <coughs> yeah, there is indeed a taffer here. Uh, well, you have a sword. So I definitely don't want to wake you. What does it say? Guess I'll pull it up early today. Business has been the shit. Been having dreams about Pete again. I really regret that last quarrel we had. I guess I'll never forgive myself for shoving that fish up his butt either. I mean, how do you apologize for something like that? And then when he ran out of the store and jumped into the canal like a total idiot, well, I just wish they'd find his body so we could give him a proper burial over at St. Trinitz. Yeah, I don't mean you're gonna wake up on a pick lock. Yes, you are. But you're not looking this way, so I should be alright. I mean, people are. Surprisingly light sleepers, the slightest noise of a lockpick uh, tumbler turning is enough to... Oh, don't look this way, sir. Where's my compass? Alright, there's a street to the, north, to the left and a street to the right. And that's the fishmongers I just came out of, so... Okay, that's a dead end, I think. So I do need to go around to the right and up this way. No, I didn't explore this warehouse. Are you going to turn around and start patrolling again, Mr. Guard? Or do I have time to make you go for it? I guess we've got time. Hmm? Where'd you come from? Oh, God. Heads are going to roll now. No, nah, people are going to swim instead. Alright. Oh, this is the warehouse. Oh, I'm back where I started. Great. Uh, I guess we're gonna go all the way around again. Yeah. Come on, Garrett, you can do better than that. Can you actually climb out here? You should just be able to climb out here, right? No? Platforming puzzle, alright. Well, let's do it again. I've done it several times before, it's just a little frustrating. There we are. We're gonna have to sneak past that guard again, I think. Can't get round via the peacock club. Who's there? There's no one. Is someone there? No. Oh well. Don't know what it was. Alright, this guard is still having a good time here all by himself. What about the one that was up here? Well, now he's not looking my way, at least. So I can't sneak past him. I can probably go back down here. I hope I don't run into another guard. Hmm. He's gonna see me, isn't he, if I try and go through there. Well, that's where I need to go. That's the only way, I think, to get through to uh, Knife Street and my rented room. Well, let's just try it. Stick, crouch, stick close to the wall. Alright, you didn't see me. Good. Hear footsteps. Sounds like a civilian. 
and they're not coming my way. Well, they might see me and raise the alarm. Do they have any loot? They apparently do not. <coughs> Why don't you have loot, sir? You're boring. this place. Ooh, it appears to be the gleaming facet. It's a jeweler's. I wonder if they have guards or an alarm system or something. Let's hope not. Because they don't even have a glass case. Anyone could just walk in here and take all these gems. I mean, really? There's an open window. I should be quiet on the careful on the top floor. Oh, there's an upstairs as well. That could be fun. What does this note say? Dolores. We are missing one of the two rubies recently purchased from that strange merchant out of the south. I'm sure I needn't remind you that I've never seen rubies of this sort before. They are irreplaceable. That scrub floor scrub scrubber probably took it. Please have the city watch investigate this first thing tomorrow morning. I'm not sure where the urchin lives, but I've seen him hanging around the windmill on the north side of Watercrest Island. Mr. Dupre. Uh, where's Watercrest Island? That's Watercrest Island. Where's the windmill? Alright, so somewhere around here. Ruby? Question mark. Also, north of the museum was some dude with info on the museum, right? According to a previous note. Uh, so I'll make a note of that too while I remember. Let's climb up this ladder and see what we've got upstairs. Apart from darkness. Safe! That is not so safe after all. And one of the two vampires eye gems. The other one of course being the where the urchin was. Quiet, Garrett, don't, don't go uh, clattering all over the floor here. Oh, it's just a civilian friend, alright. Hmm. Oop, there's a guard. It's a dark niche. Take a dark niche quite happily. Where does his patrol route go? Where am I going? Uh, so he's patrolling down this way. Or did he go straight down Knife Street? I think I'm here in this niche and he's going down Knife Street. Indeed, he's going down Knife Street. Which is where I'm going. Oh, there's darkened doorways to hide in, so you know, it's not all bad. Gad, you're going all the way, aren't you, Gad? When do you turn around? Oh, there's another guard there. Whoa! Where are you going? Alright, whatever. Oh, the guard friend. Oh, he's coming me back. That's not the guard. Did you see a guard run past here, sir? Do you know why? Do you mind if I take your money? No? Thank you. Well, this could be bad, because it's quite bright. I don't know where the guard's gone. Oh, that's alright. And there's a lantern bearer who is wearing a blackjack proof helmet. As the note... As the, uh, 
underworld tip told us. All right, this is good. We've uh, reached the square here. We should be actually underneath the uh, inn where our rented room is right now. So let's. Guards are not looking our way. Let's go upstairs and find out. Uh, hmm. Do I have my key? Yeah, that's my rented room indeed. Alright, let's take another. Oh, I'd say that's uh, so just about to complete another objective, and I want to see if it's bugged as well. Alright, here's that. Oh, hello, Mercedes. So, the King of Thieves lives up to his name. Get out. I don't blame you one bit, but I thought you might be interested to know. You sold the Silix to the very person I was trying to keep it away from. Cry me a river. Oh, so Brother Adrius wasn't enough? Or the corpse stalking through Lady Kalinda's cellar? Perhaps you'd like a city better filled with occupants poured from your Silix. I think you'll find that's what your buyer has provided. I'll settle my score with the Cardinal, alone. Then you'll need this. You'll find him in the cemetery across town. That key goes to the gates. I think I'll be fine, as long as you don't help. Stay here if you like. The room's paid up till tomorrow. Saying anything else, or are you just sitting there? All right. I see, oops, that's not what I wanted to do. I see a healing potion, and I need that right now. <laughs> Let's also collect all my equipment. Those zombies sound hungry. Yeah, I'm sure they do. Hey, my blackjack and a mine. All right. Now I can knock people out. Can I get behind you? Can I steal your purse? No. Can I knock you out and steal your purse? I got new objectives. Grab your stash from the rented room. Well, that's not ticking off. You're sick of this shit. Steal the Silex back and destroy it in Peabody's Forge. Alright. Sleep. Oh, you don't sleep? I can't steal your money. Boo. Well, I guess you're going to have to stay here. Uh, is that all my equipment or is there any in the closet? Why is it none of it kept in the closet? Oh, well. Once again, I think I heard a go, you know, make the objective complete sound when I picked up my loot. Those zombies sound hungry. Said that before. So we have a new objective to steal the Silex back from. Well, the guy was in the basement here. I don't know where else he would be. Uh, so we're gonna have to try and find our way back there and steal things, and then take it to Peabody's smelting and destroy it. Um, in addition, we still need to rob the museum, we still want to find this other ruby, we definitely probably want to explore, well we need to go to Meekwood Cemetery now. What I didn't understand was why I had to go back, why I had to go to Meekwood Cemetery, was that where the guy with the silex was, was he not in the cathedral? I guess, maybe, I don't know. Avoid the guards here. Do you think Laura Croft has a nicer ass? Well, I don't know who you think you're talking to anymore. Maybe this guard. Um, I think Laura Croft has fewer polygons even than you. All right, where am I? I am looking to the east of the water to the police courtyard. Do we have a zoomed in area up here? Yeah. Um, so I could jump across the river there. Uh, there's a smokestack. I kind of want to get round to the south, which probably means going down along Knife Street again, right? Because once I get to that courtyard, I can't get there. But I did see a balcony up there that I want to explore, so I'm going to go <laughs> over here and rope my way up to that balcony. Being 
police car courtyard. Oh, okay. That was a fire arrow exploding. Or maybe it's no, that's the that's the smelting place. Maybe it's just something happening in there. Oh, I see the police. Whoops. Oh well, so uh, that balcony was a bit unexciting. <laughs> oh god, he saw me. I don't think I want to face your command. I think I want to run away like a cowardly thief who is very low on hit points. And see if I can find a way out of this damn canal. Uh, what? Oh, we got some hammer horns. Ah, Peabody's. Why are the undead wandering around here at Merkbell Station? I do not know. But I also do not like it. Let's try and stay away. I hope they don't see me. Oh, it's an apparition. Oh, they're hunting. Oh. Oh, the zombie that see me. Great. Can make the jump. <laughs> Don't think I can actually get around there. Why are there so why is there so much undead on the streets? This is is this supposed to be the guy with the silex making all these undead? I don't know, but it's uh, disconcerting. Alright, um I kind of want to get across that bridge. I'm going to see if I can get around here. On this tiny, tiny ledge. I don't think I can. Nope. Alright. That's not going to happen. Hey, Madame Zombie. Don't mind me. Yeah. To get back in the water. Well. There's more. Right above me, I should say. Hmm. Well, the water does take me all the way to the cemetery, more or less, so I guess I can try and get out somewhere near that. What's that? Ooh, that's guards fighting like a haunt or something. I'll find out who did this. I think the guard won. Well done, sir. Come to Papa now. Yeah, yeah, you're not. I know you're still upset about finding the undead, but you're not actually looking for me. Dear, dear. One more zombies. So much waterways, so few ways out of them. It's, uh. Probably get out there, right in the light in front of a guard who's bit, who's alert. I don't think so. I don't think that's a good plan. Oh, this is I'm dead to me. Get out here. Let's just get around again. Let's get around again. Yeah, yeah. There's a guard just wandering the streets. I can climb up there for no purpose. I can get up here. It's just nice to be too high. So dead, pal. Oh, they're going to attack a zombie. Good work, guard. Look at him, look at him go. Ah, and the zombie gets up again. I think I know who's going to win this fight. I'm 
unfortunately. The zombies. As predicted. Won, because... They get knocked down, they get up again. Oh, I've been here. I jumped, this is where I came in. Oh no, this is where I jumped in. After going to the museum. But uh, I don't think I can the water wheel. So, once again... I am... Stymied at my attempt to get out of this damn canal. Ah, yeah. Get out there. Can you see them? No. Oh, they're up there somewhere. They might actually win if they pump enough arrows in. Because they could just knock this zombie down, and they're far, probably far enough away from him that he won't just stand up again. It's apparently, taking a lot of arrows, though. Well, they do have an infinite supply. <laughs> Just imagining a zombie now with like 500 arrows spreading out of his chest. Alright, uh... Oh! Land! Sort of. Sort of land. I don't know where I am. I can get out here, I think. Alright, I'm free! <laughs> I'm free of the river! Hello, Madame Zombie. Well, I free temporarily, but I have to get back in. But there is a ladder there to get back out again. So I guess, wherever I am, this is how I'm getting out. <sighs> Where am I? Going over a bridge, right? I guess I just need to find a landmark. Oh, a door. Luckily for me, it's a, it is not a moonless night. In fact, there is a full moon, but it's somewhere. But it's a very dim full moon. Alright, what is this place with unending music? Ooh, can I cross the water on this without falling off? Careful. Oh, almost fell off. Alright, uh, where am I? I don't see any point going south there. I wonder if that's a way out of the water. No, I don't think so. Let's follow this round to the north and east. And there we have some... That looks like a haunt. What if I don't want to join you? Waking him up, I'll be better off for it. Oh! I left some coins on a window ledge for me. How kind. Where are we? <laughs> it's a walking skeleton. <laughs> nice. Uh, again, it sounds like, sounds like a horn. Probably is as dangerous as a horn. So I can definitely sneak up on that one up there and backstab him, but I wonder where these others are patrolling. Uh, right, let's have a look around. We've got a bunch of walkways over the river here. This must be the town hall clock to the east, and so we're right here. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, at least I'm almost certainly a clock there. I'm going to make a hard save here because I am currently out of the way of all that I'm dead. I don't really want to be in their way. Are they coming back? I was just saying backstabbing, but I don't have a sword, so I can't backstab anybody. Great. Uh, I guess I better not get into fights with anybody, huh? Oh, well, this is where the guard was. Unfortunately, they got to him. Several guards. And a drawbridge. Mm 
And a bottle worth of money, alright. Oh, what's that? An apple. I'll eat that. Thank you very much. I hear the zombie coming back. Is that metal? Looks like metal. The entire bridge looks like metal. Well, that takes me south across here to the cemetery, which is where I need to be. Yeah, they're coming back. I'm just going to wait for them to go past. Because I don't have a sword. Well, not that I could kill the zombies, but uh, I kind of want to just stay out of their way. You killed them! You don't need to get suspicious when you see them. Bridge itself seems silent. Or oh, it's the zombies. Getting stuck there. Not that I mind. Cardinal sends me. Cardinal sends you, does he? Oh well. How do I get in here? There's a room there. I wonder if the, being up on that ledge would help me. Oh, I guess I'm going. Oh. Lost me, but uh, we will find you again if we get down to their level. <laughs> okay, guys, give up your search and go wandering off like good little zombies. Much better. Is that there's just a zombie there? Huh. Alright, well let's turn the lights off. So I should be able to sneak around a little better. They're both going that way, so I'm gonna walk past and get to the cemetery gates. Is that a dead guard or is that another zombie? <coughs> dead guard. Alright. Ah, not carrying anything. Where's those keys? Alright, let's unlock the gates. So I kind of didn't really pay attention to what Mercedes was telling me about the cemetery, and I don't really know why I'm here. I guess it's because the cardinal's up here or something. Okay, guys, go back. I don't want to have to. I don't want you chasing me into the cemetery because I'm sure I'm meeting other Nazis there. You're not going into the cemetery now, are you? No. You're going right back around. All right. Don't get stuck there. Yeah, we do have other friends wandering around here. Oh, zombies and skeletons. Well, I don't know what my purpose is here, but I guess I need to find the Cardinal and steal the Silex back from him. Something like that. Hopefully not get too many zombies on my case. Let alone haunts. Uh, zombies are okay, I can run away from zombies easily. Haunts are a little quicker than that. It's reasonably dark. Is there anything marked in the cemetery? Do I even know where I'm going? 
Can I take his mana maybe on the western side? Is there anything marked? Oh, she's going back. There's a skeletal haunt coming my way. In fact, there's a lot of dudes there. Wow, look at them all. I guess that's where I need to go because. Is that just a never ending stream of them coming from there? Hopefully not, but there's a. That's an army. And it's a bit bright down here. Turn around because it's not dark enough here for me to hide. Maybe there's actually from a zombie, I don't know. Good. Check out this creepy basement. It does not seem to be empty. Oh, maybe I'm hearing people upstairs. Or oh, down there. Oh, I've got five water arrows now. I could use one on there, and it seems like not a terrible idea. And maybe prepare a way out with the rope. I do need to go down there. I want, I want an escape route. It's not very dark though. Well, let's waste another torch. Well, that looks important, doesn't it? Like magic stuff is happening here. Looks like magic stuff is, is happening here. Let's make another hard save. Oh, it is bright. They saw me, it's too bright. <laughs> Where's all the light coming from? It's not bright, it looks dark, it should be dark. Just put a moss arrow down there. So I can actually drop down once they've stopped hunting for me. I mean, I assume I need to go down there. I don't know quite why. This might have been a good time to use my holy water, but, you know. Let's see, maybe it's a bit late now. Alright, well, I helped myself a bit more. That's not good. That is surely the guy we need to deal with. Oh, he's probably going to find us here. The zombies don't. Another torch. Can I shoot through this tiny sheet or not? I would like to. Let me see if I can. Does this go through? It probably won't. It does. Good. Yeah, you saw a torch go out. And you're a bit suspicious. Too bad. It's just you've used. Cheap torches, they just don't burn for long. It's not my fault, there's no thief here. Come on, stop hunting. Good. 
Get back to your patrol route, zombies. Keep out of my way. Alright. There is one more torch. I don't know where the... I don't know where the Silex of Jawful is. Way. And then get up and out without being, uh, well, I'll be spotted on the rope, no doubt. But if I can get up and out without being killed, I'll be alright. Oh. <laughs> uh, take my rope back. Alright. I don't think I need to check out the rest of this uh, place. I think I just want to get out of here. Back through the cemetery. I have the Silex. We need to now uh, take it back to Peabody's Forge, which is up here in the north. And there's more baddies around there by its entrance, and I'm pretty sure we're gonna find more inside there as well. There's our zombie lady friend. I hear him. I hear more footsteps. Can I close one of these doors so I can see better? You saw nothing. Yeah, I see. Damn zombies. What is that thing? Honestly, I should just run now, right? Probably should not make a run for it because there are haunts and I will not be able to outrun that or outclimb them, I don't think. I can always jump back in the river, I guess. Ah, uh, no. I'm a sneaksy thief -sy. I should be sneaksy. Where did it come in? Over that way, I think. Oh, here we are. Here's the gates. Alright. Where are the zombies outside? Are they coming this way or are they going? Well, he's coming this way. Hopefully it's dark enough so for me not to be seen. Alright. Right out of the cemetery. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, you said that before. You... Well, I guess I can't blame zombies for having a one-track mind because uh, they barely have a mind at all, so... Fair enough that they kind of get a little confused and worse, stuck on things. I am a child of Alcander. You are the child of Alcander, nice. Well, Alcander is uh, kind of. Oh, you'll probably see me now, huh? Oh, alright. <laughs> Not. Didn't see me enough. Okay, now I'm tempted to just jump in the water again and use that as a way to get around, but I could get out of the water here. Sorry, here, at least caught you up. I don't think I can get out there, now, can I? Maybe it's, even so, it's here I need to be, so I should probably just take the streets, all these pathways that I'm on. Let's check the big map. So I'm here. Yeah, if I just. Oh, there's a, there's a guy there. Obviously, I can't backstab him because they've got no swords. Uh, um, hmm. Maybe I can just go up there. What I'm realizing now is, in terms of this whole robbing the museum thing, I really should have done that before delivering the Silex, because apparently the Silex 
fatally undead, which are a real problem. However, let's go for a swim. See if I can find my way back to somewhere where I can climb out that is useful and not immediately under attack by the bad things. Me, surely. Well, then it really matters if you did. Alright, I can get out here, but where is this? Oh no, I can't get out here. Oh, I can. Alright, it's nice and dark. Um, where are we? That's these streets, these uh, steps, isn't it? Is that Peabody's? That looks like a important place. Do they have any keys or loot? No. Alright. But this is locked, but uh, I can probably deal with that. I am surprised I was able to get out of the uh, canals exactly where I needed What's to be. With, quit tapping with me, guys. Hey, hold it right there. You've messed with the wrong man. <sighs> so there were actual live guards in there. That's a surprise. And I wasn't expecting that, and I certainly wasn't expecting him to, to be seen right away. Oh, there's the windmill. Remember, we're looking for a ruby. Some, an urchin with a ruby somewhere near the windmill. Okay. Well, we escaped Mr. Guard, because he didn't, didn't feel like going for a swim. Question is... Where is he? There he goes. Back inside. Closes the door behind him, of course. So my question is... Is there well? Actually, different question. The police are all dead. On the outside. Is there anything worth stealing from the police station? Who knows? Banners must die, but I have no sword. I can't kill the banners. Hmm. There's a portrait of somebody not very good looking. Well, there's some swords. You know, I would like a sword. This is a button to open the gate. But I guess I'm not going to be able to get in there because you have to be inside to open it. And I'm on the outside. And I don't really see any way of getting up there. Road barriers aren't going to help me. Alright, back to the job at hand. Is there a way... Sorry, is there a place that's relatively dark here where I can stand? Oh, a smelting factory key. Mm -hmm. Useful. Well, I can not be seen as soon as I open the doors. Hello, sir! Strange. Somebody! I've got a man down! I'll toot! I found evidence of an intruder! What's with this? Yeah, yeah. Just make one mistake. I wonder, is that where I need to drop the silex? If so, I can do it without bothering this guy. Now, I wasted my flash mine there, that was a bit silly. Um. Alright, now turn around, sir. That's right. You know what? If you're dead, I'm sorry, if you're unconscious, <coughs> you may actually survive the zombies. The undead that I have sort of inadvertently caused to wander the streets. So, I'm actually doing you a favor there. What does it say? Danger, this forge will melt metal. What do you think it might do to your hand? Remember, safety first. Alright, Silex, let's throw you in the fire of Mount Doom. I mean, Peabody's Forge. Ah! Oh. And have it kill me. 
that was really not wasn't my plan. Okay. This could be a problem. How do I get it in there without it killing me? Oh, because I can throw it. Couldn't throw it last mission. Alright, let's throw it. Yay! Objective complete! And that one ticked off. Alright, we have destroyed the Silex. Now, does that destroy the undead as well? I can only hope. I guess we can find out, but first... Oh, there's nothing else there. Alright, we're done with Peabody's. Uh, very fancy place, considering nothing actually happens here. I wonder, what, can I get up on the rafters there? Well, yes, I could absolutely use a rope. I'm just wondering if I can climb up there. This just looks like a nice climbing puzzle, you know? Pipes to climb on. Hmm. That's not going to get me any higher. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stick a rope in there. See if there's anything of value up in these rafters. You know, oh, there's a alternate ways in. That's why there's rafters here, alright. No loot, but uh, alternate ways in, and for me, alternate way out onto rooftops, I guess. Which sounds handy. I've not really been able to access many of the rooftops in this place. Ugh, it's bloody metal. Well, that's National Guard, still at the police place. So he's not answering my question of are the undead still a thing? Let's jump in the water! Oh, this is the wrong bit of water. This is the one that's hard to get out of, isn't it? Oh no, this will, this will take us around. This will take us around. Pass the police. Down to the south. Now, if that has destroyed all those undead that are wandering around, I will be not at all unhappy. When you can get it, there, Garrett. <laughs> so let me save here and go find out. Because there are certainly some along this way. I'm not hearing anything now. Guildhall of the Falstaff Wizards. All others, not welcome. Now, if you want to keep out these, you should invest in better locks. I can't hear any sounds of uh, zombies or haunts or anything, so I do fancy that uh, we have managed to defeat the undead plague. And I will not be at all unhappy. Zombies are pretty easy to sneak around, but uh, what magical traps have these wizards set up, you know? There's somebody walking around there. Obviously I'm not going to be welcome here, but uh, I will try and stay out of the way. Karash Drag with the Vampire Blade. Well, hmm, that sounds interesting. Does it mean it's a blade that is a vampire? Or a blade that's made of a vampire? Or just a blade that a vampire happened to own sometime in the past? Where are you, sir? Very bright in that room. Oh, they're walking around upstairs, are they? because otherwise I would see them. Let's just keep an eye open. I wonder if that chest... Yeah, there we are. I wonder if that chest contains the way to get the vampire blade. Let's wait till he's just gone around the corner here. Better safe than sorry. Alright. Oh, that one. Come on. Fire arrow. What's a fire arrow gonna do for me? Oh, there's 
way up there. Alright, I could probably go up there and knock him out there. Maybe that should be my plan. Steps. Where are you going, sir? Where do you come from? Where are you going? Uh, does he know that his friend there has been knocked unconscious? Definitely suspicious of something. I don't know where they came from. Or maybe they're just walking around at very high speed. They're not actually running. They're just very fast, very fast walker. Oh, there's a bunch of them now. All patrolling the way out. Okay. Hmm. They weren't there before. Bloody magical. Dudes. So the question is, how do I open that? Okay, oh, is this all tile? This is all tile. That would seem to be the answer. I wonder if they're susceptible to flash bombs. Or, if I, or just to running. Do I leave the door open? Let's just go. Alright, that seems to be successful. Now I have a sword! For better or worse, probably worse. God, all these corpses. Let's just clean up the mess, shall we? Alright, so it is quite clear that some of the undead are still around. Where are we now? I think we're heading back south. We're down here. This is the one that I thought before I might be able to backstab. Yeah, he's still there. Whoops! Well, that's not what I wanted to do. I guess I could get out of the water back this way, right? I believe I climbed out of the water somewhere here. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, short answer is destroying the Silex did not destroy the undead that were created with it, unfortunately. I climbed out somewhere here. I know I did, because I uh, got to the lever that opened the drawbridge there. And just to the south here. Ah, uh, yeah, this looks like it. Mm, or maybe not. Yeah. Where's the way out? Here. Possibly. Maybe not. Oh yeah, I couldn't get out there. Right up here. Ah, oh, this is it. This is where I came out. Alright. Yep, because there's a bit of land. And there's a ladder over there. Oops. And we went up this ladder and we went in the window. Or oh, door. This window. That's right, we crossed the street. But. I'm not really sure why I'm retracing my steps here. Well, I guess I thought that if the undead were all gone now that we destroyed the Silex, that I'd have a chance of looting this part of town more easily. Oh, 
there's actually a room there. That's why they have coins on their windowsill. They don't just leave them out on the street side of the window. There's a skeleton coming along. So by dropping down here somewhere, I was able to... And now I have a sword. I should be able to... Dispatch some of these fellows. Yes! Ah, oh, you heard that, did you? You heard that. Oh well, I can always just jump in the water if he comes for me. Well, if he doesn't come for me, if he gives up soon. Bye-bye. Aha, -bye. Uh -huh, you can't catch me. Alright. So, no real reason to hang around here. I think I have a museum to rob. So let's go back and get out of the canal here and back at Peabody. So I guess that's the best place to go. Rather than worry about fighting these undead, which I don't really need to do. That's just, of course, I know that guy patrols down this way, but I should be out of his way before too long. All right, what's the best way to get to Oh, we should check out the windmill, right? We should go around the southern side of Peabody's here. So we're looking for an urchin with the ruby that we're missing. Ooh, the undead have been here as well. Okay, it's kind of stuck through the ground. I do have a bunch of fire arrows, actually. Eleven of them that could be useful for undead. There's the windmill. Oh, I hear somebody coming. It's an apparition. No, I can't seem to kill them. mistake. That yeah, was a mistake. Let's wait for them to go past. Probably, you know, discretion being better part of valor and all that. Unless I can just get them like that, which would be nice, but... Oh, it's fairly, uh, dark here. There's another one coming, isn't there? Yeah, there's another one coming. Can't take on two at once, that's for sure. Hmm. Well, the fast one's gonna away. So he's gonna come back first. I'm sure they turn around just there as well. So I just don't want to go and check out the windmill just yet. I'm gonna get a better idea of how and where and these people running. Well, maybe I can get in this time. Nope. Missed. Now well, the fast one's gonna come back, so I can't backstab you. Come on, fast one. They both seem to have the same patrol route here. Alright, well this means I should be able to get to the windmill now, right? Well, it's not even, not even locked. Well, shall I try climbing up? So we got the ghoul's eye and the 
vampire's eye. Killed the two gems. All right. Good. That was uh, surprisingly easy. Let's just jump down onto this convenient barrel so we don't take damage. Now listen for these people walking by. Right. Should be safe, right? Back to my lovely shadow. Question is, can I destroy these? I really should go hide in this shadow. Take them much closer here. I could actually come in here, I think that might be bad. But it probably gives me a better opportunity to dispose of them if I want to. Which I do want to. I'd rather not have them all over the streets. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, there he goes. Alright. Oh. What? He's not dead. That's not good. You saw nothing. Hmm. All right, maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe that was a bad idea. Oh, he saw me for a second. He came running straight at me. Oh, fast walking. All right, where am I going? To the museum, where am I now? Here. So, what a uh, something it says. What is the zoomed in version? Water pump. So, if I jump over there, that gets me to near there to the museum. I wonder if I can get over there without falling in the canal. Oh. Alright, well, there's another way around through. I was wondering if I could jump up from there. It doesn't look like a can. Because this thing is kind of weirdly not very solid. <laughs> Does look like I'm going to have to go the long way around. Uh, unless it goes to the west here. What is that? <coughs> oh. That's not good at all. Well, I want to go there where it went. Is that fast walker? Uh, even faster uh, gaseous thing. I need to go down that way. Come back. Come back and look at me a chance to get down there without you eating me alive or making me cough to death or whatever. I know you're stuck. Better not be stuck there. I wonder if I can fight arrow you. Oh, that was a mistake, wasn't it? Was just silly. Whatever. Now they're all hunting me instead of patrolling, so I have to wait even longer. Oops, unless I use my one water arrow as a holy water arrow, which would be silly. I'm just gonna take my chance. Oh, it's good. So far, so good. Where's that thing going? Is it coming this way? I hear like a zombie or something down this way too, although that's less of a problem. Oh, you're going to turn into one of those things as well, aren't you? No, don't cough me to death. 
they're gonna kill me. Show me. Ouch. That was silly. Now I'm in the water. I'm not gonna be able to get out. But I can open that for whatever could be me. I don't think I can get up there, right? Maybe I can. Maybe I can. Oh. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I do want to. Is that way I don't have to deal with Mr. Gassy over there? Throw him in the river. And now I'm up here closer to the museum. Which is actually where I wanted to be in the first place, so. Alright. I guess it works. Be nice to find another healing potion, though, because I really am one step away from death here. There's a marketplace over here, I think. So somebody north of the museum here was supposed to have information for me. Oh dear. Let's stay out of the way. I don't really want to get chased, but uh, I have an escape route into the water here if I need it. Yeah, yeah, Jotel, blah, blah. Alright, they have given up. Good. So there's a door there on a uh, plaque in front of it, and I think that's where I need to go. Unfortunately, it's brightly lit, and this skeleton man was wandering around it. I need to wait till they patrol back, I think. Maybe not. Maybe it's safe. I don't know. I'm going to have to go for it. Okay, into this darkness, hope I don't get seen. Alright, don't get seen by the zombie. Madame zombie. Carry on. Don't come back yet. Oh, that's not a doorway I can get into. So this is bad. I don't want to be here. What's that on the street? Oh, that's... A piece of paper. No, nope, it looks like a. It is a piece of paper and I can't pick it up. And somebody's coming. Oh, just a zombie walking by. Alright. That alley is. Uh. I don't know. Somewhere up that way that I don't want to be. That's. Oh, that's north. That's walking west. So that's going off this way. No, this way. Oh, I don't know. Definitely getting further away from the, from the museum right now. Uh, so if we come through here... This must be running down by the museum here, so maybe this room is... Maybe that's where our help friend is going to be. Oh. Well, I don't think I can risk jumping down there. Because I would have hurt myself to death. You know? <laughs> Whoops. Well, unless I land on a zombie, okay. That's an option I hadn't really planned for. I thought I was dead there by mistake. I was trying to get on the ledge. Well, here we are at the museum. The guard who was standing outside before is no longer there. And, uh, well, uh, he is there. He's just quite dead. So we can try and break into... There's the diamond, there's also something in the vault which we want. Red something or other. I hear footsteps. Inside the museum. I don't know. Oh, there's someone else coming back. Hey zombie. I will wait till you go past before I try to break in. 
so now. Say break in, it's actually just walk in. God, it's noisy. God, it's noisy. Super noisy. Right, let's get on the carpet. Oh, there's guards fighting zombies in here, I think. Judging by the sound of clash of things over there. Yeah. Yeah, there's guards, but no, they just look like a suit of armor. Too noisy. Well, I don't really want to deal with enraged guards. Creeping across the floor down here while they're occupied. I think the zombies are going to win again. They tend to. Creep across the floor slowly and carefully. What have we got? Valuable things. We have a skeleton. We have more gems and whatnot. We have Jortle's mummified head, alright. That must be Jortles, bones, or oh, mummified body. Various skulls, hammers, things I don't need. Very wide skull, a very tiny skull. What's the what's the say? That's uh, the mummy of Jortle. These jewel encrusted remains were taken from a series of three mastabas, low flat roofed crypts made of mud block, in the jungles of the Upper South. Though the portal to Jotel's inner sepulchre was trapped and graven with curses, his mummified bones can now be displayed in museums throughout the continent. Legend has it that Jotel was a magician of sorts. Supposedly he owned and crafted many magical items now lost to the modern world. His mummified head is said to still hold all manner of magical secrets behind those tightly drawn lips. Well, I can pick it up and carry it, alright. I wonder if it, what secrets it does have. It's Interesting. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. That was nice. Zombie hiding in the crate. The artifacts in this room are newly excavated and currently being catalogued. Most are relics of ancient daily life or funerary trappings. All artifacts and facts are on loan to the museum, courtesy of Dr. Croft. Oh, I see some masks on the wall. Valuable. Bloody tile floors. Thank you. Alright, 2700 loot. That's a pretty good haul so far. Expect this is zombies to come back. I think he's gonna. I don't know where his patrol route is. Uh, Try not to alert him. Alright, he's going back. Oh, the guard is still alive. Fire arrow and water arrow on the wall. Suits of armor, statues. We have Karis's golden child. 
have a statue, a fallen statue of Cthulhu. I should check the upper floor. I don't know if there's still a guard up there. If there is, I'm sure I'll run into them. I don't know where this vault is. Um, obviously, probably downstairs, right? But maybe it's upstairs. There's another. There's another floor above as well. Okay. And I saw what looked like a red light up there. Possibly an alarm for the vault. God, you saw me. Alright, well let's let's forget about secrecy then. Let's just go fast. Do we see something on the floor there? Oh yeah. Oh it's a something shining through. Well that must be the girl that we heard. Is a there is a lifeguard around. All right, some of these paintings are valuable. Ah, uh, there's a brilliant diamond. Not really what I wanted to do. Just set off all the alarms, but okay. Where's this vault? What's the note say? Ah, Dr. Provost, I waited until after midnight for you and I'm afraid I must now go home. I hope this small room will do. Feel free to ask the guards for anything you wish to examine. The only restricted area is the vault on the fourth floor. We have some priceless items in there that must be kept safe. I hope you'll examine the archaeology room on the ground floor. We have some new mummies on display, and if you break up in the small crate, I think there is a shipment of holy water, just in case. The large crates contain additional burial remains that I hope you'll leave unopened until tomorrow. Mr. Smelt, head curator. Now, where's that bread? Oh, I hit my stomach. Where is this vault on the fourth floor? So there must be another floor above this one. Oh yeah, that's why I can hear the guard. What the hell was that? How do you get up there? Quite particularly, can't hide forever. How do you get up there without being hmm. caught by a guard? Well, I think I found my answer. <laughs> At least for the first question. Do the jump. Oh, they're an archer. That's bad news for me. Also, they're stuck. That's also bad news for me. I don't know how I'm going to be able to escape the notice. Well, let me get my flash bomb ready and try to make the jump. Where are we? There. Alternatively, I could try and distract them, but I think the flash bomb probably will be my best bet. Hold it there! Where are you? <coughs> Alright, I think I might have thrown two flash bombs there by mistake, but never mind. We'll take your broadhead. Uh, Alright, so here we are on the fourth floor. I don't know how we're supposed to get there, but. Danger! High security vault, invisible ultraviolet anti personnel system is active. Do not enter. Uh, Beryllian Diamond Alarm Deactivation for cleaning use only. Yeah, well, let's turn the alarm off. Shame. All right. Yeah, get a nice view out of the city there. Over the city. That's very nice. That's a very nice view. Uh, oh, there's a lift. 
That's how you're supposed to get up here. All right. Well, now I know. I probably don't need the rope. Uh, so what is this invisible ultraviolet anti-personnel system and will it kill me? And the answer is probably... Uh, yes, it probably will kill me. Uh, and that needs a key, apparently. I don't have a suitable key. Did you have a key? No? Shame. Uh, well, I guess I'm not getting that stuff then. Because I don't know where I'm going to find a key. That's not on my objectives list. Um, I've actually completed all my objectives here. Oh, I guess to get that key I need to find that Dr. Provost fellow. Uh, because he was the one who had information. He had information on the museum and he probably would have had the key. Um, because the curator left him left stuff for him, so. Alright, back out of the museum I go. No, not that way. Just, where's the stairs? Where are the stairs? Oh, this way. Oh, there, nearly invisible zombie. Paintings of Nicholas Rurik. These paintings explore the mythic origins the natural beauty and the spiritual something. Hello. Whatever. Time for me to get out of here. Alright. I have robbed the museum. I have destroyed the Silex of Jortal. And, uh, well, I guess probably the best thing for me to do is go back to my, my place there. Uh, which is going to be northeast. Get around here again. So off this way, and come on, up and up. Whoops. And then I can force the mission to end, despite the broken objectives. Because I think I've done everything I need to do. Another lock chest. Let's just see what's in here first. Hopefully some loot. Ultraviolet ruby lensed eye of true seeing. Uh huh. I bet that will show me the way past those lasers in the museum. You know what? I want to try that. I want to try that. I'm right by the museum here. I'll get back up to the top floor and use that to look at the hallway. I'm not worrying too much about the zombies. So let's. Let's use this eye of true seeing. It's pitch black in here, the zombies can't even see me as I run right past them. Uh, stairs. Oh, where was the lift? It was on this floor, it's here, right? Where's the buttons? Now, I still don't have the key, so I still can't go in. But I wonder if this is gonna reveal anything to me? Maybe not. Maybe I would need to get that and bring it to Mr. Provost or something. I don't know. He was he was in a building north of the museum, so he would be around here, but I don't really think I'm gonna be able to find him. Alright, let's go back up. No idea that I'm here. Well, he has an idea. I mean, he saw me, but that's all right. He'll lose me now. There's another one. I went here a minute ago. Uh, 
I think he's gone the way I want to go, right? Uh, I need to go east and north across the water. I can go around to the north. You did see me. Yeah, yeah. Zombie. Whatever. Oh. Oh no, that's just a light switch, okay? Because if the fellow we're after is not in that building, then maybe he's in this building. Or maybe there's no way into this building. It's a piece of paper that I can't pick up. It's a very odd thing to have there. What have we got in here? Ah, oh, moss arrow. I'm sure that won't be useful anymore. It might have been earlier. Alright. Let's just go home. Let's go back to the room I rented. Um, and be done with it. Wait, which way? Uh, east, yeah. Oh, there's a locked door. What is that door? That is here. Yeah. Very odd noises here as well. I don't think I like the sound of. I really don't like the sound of. Is that somebody up here? Noises are quite weird. All right, well, this gets us out on top of the uh, streets. Let's do some more cleanup. No, can't. There we are. All right, we on. Kind of still going the way we wanted to go. More broadheads. Yeah, where does this take us? Not flash bombs. Lockpicks. Yeah, I know I should be getting back and, you know, finishing finishing the mission, but uh, I'm just curious now about. Oh, this is the building I couldn't get into. This is the building north of the museum. Maybe this is where Dr. Provost <laughs> is. <coughs> Unconscious or dead? What's his note say? Museum invitation. Dr. Provost, thank you for visiting our humble district. The Watercrest and all of Merkbell welcome you. Please accept this bottle of Regalian wine as a token of our appreciation. Of course, the guards at the museum will be expecting you late tonight. We have set up a small area for you to appraise the newest relics on loan from Dr. Croft. Armed with your expert advice, we will be able to make her an offer and decide what relics to make a permanent part of the Watercrest display. Simply show this invitation to the front door guards any time after midnight and you will be admitted to the museum. Best regards, Mr. Smelt, Head Curator. All right, well, uh, that would have got me in, I guess, without the guards chasing me. If I had come here before things started to go all dead. Oh, he's got some holy water too, that's interesting. Uh, and a bottle of actually not very good wine that has fallen into the canal. Oh, well, so I guess I found him. I found his Invitation, it doesn't, it's not the key that I was kind of expected him to have. So I don't know where there would be the key that we would need. Alright. Well, I don't need to know, I can just keep going back home because I'm not going to be able to rob that vault. Uh, this way, I think. This way, round to the west, and then east along Nice Street. Oh, there's our gaseous friend. Oh, who's seen us? God damn it. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm not gonna be able to escape, am I? No, oh, it's gonna be bad. I'm gonna have to jump in the water again. I didn't want to get seen here. No! Where am I going? I'm lost. God damn it. They're on my tail. I can't escape. This is gonna be bad. 
Give, bring me to the water. Get, let's get in the water. Ah, ah. ah. Well. <laughs> Zombie fighting a girl there as well. All right. Um. Well, that's inconvenient. I'm now in the water, and that's not very useful. And now I've got a whole bunch of alert enemies who chased me all the way up there, who are now going to get in my way. I can't come out there. Oh dear. And here I thought it was going to be easy getting back. Oh, here we are at the water pump, so I can actually get out here. Does that help me? <laughs> That'll get me out. Yeah, that gets me out here again. All right. I suppose it's useful. Oh, that's right, this is where our fast moving friend actually had his patrol. Let's see if I can find some nice patch of darkness on my way up here to hide in as people give up on chasing me and uh, make their way back, maybe. Or maybe I could just get down Knife Street. Everyone else is otherwise occupied back in that courtyard. Seems seems good enough, alright. Who else am I gonna encounter? Up here by my inn. Sound like human footsteps. Perhaps there's a guard still alive. Whoever's there, time to give yourself up. Yeah, there is a guard still alive, alright. Not that I care. Oh, that's the wrong key. Alright. Here we are. Hello, Mercedes. Anything to say? Nope. However, we have completed all our objectives, despite the fact that it was slightly bugged and they didn't take off. So, this is a successful mission. Alright. Our stats, uh, we found 3,000 loot out of, oh god that's loud, out of 5,000 uh, in an hour and 46 minutes. Um, so, not doing too, not doing too badly, we found more than half of it, like, I guess a bunch more of that was no doubt in the vault in the museum and lots more was going to be scattered around town. Uh, Alright, I'm going to end this episode here and I will see you for the next mission in the next episode. Thanks for watching.